Hey guys, it's Jack with Rethink Tech, back with another 3D printing video. So today I just got my E3D V6 3D printing hot end or extruder. I just took it out of the box. There's a ton of plugs, wires, fans, metal parts, boating tubing. I'm going to put it all together really quick and get back when it's all together. Alright, so I just finished assembly on the E3D V6 and as you can see it is looking super super good. So right now I'm printing a twisted vase and it's just doing a one layer perimeter just super thin and it's doing a great job so far. Alright so here's the one with the old China clone E3D looks pretty good so I'll put it next to this one I don't know it looks better putting at 0.2 mil layer height um, I'm gonna try to go down to 0.1 just to see if it can do it because this looks super good. And so, uh, it was a little tricky to assemble the E3D. I had to change some parts up to work with the Sunhoki Prusa i3 um, because some of the connectors didn't work. And I had to cut some wires and solder them together. But it does work. I have two fans now. Which is nice. I'm, I'm probably gonna 3D print a a little shield for it so it deflects the air to cool the 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 PLA filament. So right now I'm using the old filament, using the old filament that came with the printer, and it seems to be working fine so far. There were a few problems though with the temperature probe. It wasn't working correctly and I got an error message that said max temp reached. So I had to unplug it, plug it back in, I had to unscrew it from the E3D, put it back in. I had to play with some settings and eventually it worked. Alright, so the print just finished. Looks pretty good. There are a few little things that need to be tweaked. Alright, so let's get this off the printer here. Nice. Alright, so it looks pretty good. And this is at 0.2 millimeters. It can do 0.1. This took 44 minutes to print. Bottom is a little, a little rough. The sides look really good. It's one little thing right here a little bubble but everything else looks really good the E3D V6 so far is working great I'm gonna have to fix a few more things but so far for the first print looks really good alright guys please subscribe for more videos like this I'll be posting more about my upgrades for this Sunhoki Prusa i3. Like and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.